Hello everyone, Ranjita here. Welcome to my channel. Today I am here with the sewing tutorial on how to make an easy zipper pouch with a bow in the front. This is a very quick and easy project, a beginner friendly project which you can finish off in less than an hour. Before we move on further, please consider subscribing to my channel and tap on the bell icon so that you get notified every time I post a new video. So let's get started. Firstly, I am taking two pieces of main fabric, each measuring 8 inches by 10 inches. Once you get the hang of the procedure of how to add a zip and uh, finish your pouch, you can change your measurements and make pouches according to your requirement. Similarly, I am taking two fabrics for the lining, measuring 8 inches by 10 inches as well. For making these pouches, I prefer using cotton fabrics because they stay stiff and sturdy. Now I am cutting down a piece of black fabric into size. This I will be using to make the bow. This piece measures 9 inches by 12 inches. It has to be slightly bigger than your main fabric that you use for the front and the back. So now we have two pieces of main fabric, two pieces of lining fabrics and a piece for making the bow. I am now uh, folding my edges and finishing it up. I am also taking a small piece of fabric for the center of the bow. This measures 3 inches by 5 inches and I am folding it in half. Going over to my sewing machine, I am finishing the edges of the black fabric so that my bow will not be fraying from the edges. Now I am taking the small piece of fabric that I will be using for the bow center. I am folding it in half and stitching it up. I am now reversing it inside out. To prevent further fraying, I am just uh, using my pinking shears and cutting the edges. I am rolling the edges and finishing them so that I don't have any raw edges visible. This piece should be finished very neatly because it will be visible on the outside. I am now folding it in size and then giving another stitch. If you do not have an overcasting foot or if you do not have the time to overcast your edges, investing on a pinking shears or a zigzag shears is always a good idea because it prevents your fabric from fraying. Now I have turned this little one inside out and I have formed something like a ring. Moving ahead onto the pouch, I am taking a piece of the main fabric right side up. Onto this, I am placing my black fabric and I am joining them edges together. Now I am slightly pleating my black fabric. Be careful and don't pinch it too hard otherwise you might crease your fabric. Since it's cotton fabric uh, you need to be a little careful and don't pleat it too hard so that your pleats remain permanent. 
Once I have roughly gathered the black fabric, I will be inserting it into the yellow ring that I have formed with the fabric. As you can see, I have inserted my ring into the fabric. I am just uh, arranging it so that I am happy with the pleats. Now I am taking the other edge of the black fabric and lining it with the straight edge of the main fabric and pinning it in place. This is not a very difficult step but uh, I recommend you to take your own time and pin it carefully because this will be the final look of your bow on the main fabric. So what I do is I carefully uh, meddle with my fabric until I am happy with the bow and then I carefully pin it in place. Another thing you have to consider is uh, your bow should be equally placed from all sides. You need to have equal spacing from the left and the right and then the top and bottom as well. Otherwise your bow might end up looking very shabby. Now I am going ahead and attaching the zipper to my pouch. If you can see the zipper is slightly smaller than my pouch so I will also be showing you how to increase your uh, zipper length by adding zipper tabs. For this you need an extra piece of cloth that measures roughly 3 inches by 2 inches. I am taking black fabric so that it will go well with my black zipper. I am taking two pieces of small scrap fabrics that measure 3 inches by 2 inches. I am folding it in half and creasing it very well. You need to crease it really hard so that you can see the crease line on the other side. I am snipping off the metal stoppers and now I am placing it on my main fabric roughly in the center and then I am placing my zipper tab with the open ends matching towards the uh, edge of the main fabric and the folded end on my zipper I am making a mark on the zip and now I will be placing the crease line on the zip and I will be giving it a stitch this is one of the easiest ways to add a um, zipper tab now I am cutting off the excess fabric with the zigzag scissors. That's it, you have extended the length of the zip on one side. Now I will be repeating the same procedure on the other side of the zip as well. I am slightly opening my zipper and I am cutting off these metal stoppers again. But this side you need to be a little careful because once you open your zipper, your zipper teeth will be wide apart and you need to keep it in mind while stitching it. I am cutting off the metal stoppers again and then making a mark just like I have done the previous time. I am aligning the crease line with the mark and I am stitching it. As you can see, I have increased the length of my zipper in a very easy way. Now we will go ahead and attach the zipper to our pouch. First, I am placing the lining fabric. Then I will be placing the zipper facing up. And then my main fabric facing down. 
all the three fabrics are lined be careful while lining them they need to be really lined well and then once I have lined them well I will pin them in place and give a stitch along the edge As you can see I have given a stitch along the edge, I am carefully removing the pins and now you can see I have attached my zipper on one side. This is a very easy way of attaching your zipper, you will have finished edges on both the sides. I am carefully creasing the fabric in place. Now I am repeating the same steps on the other side as well, I am placing my lining fabric then my zipper facing up. This time my zipper tab will be on the right side and then my main fabric facing down. I am aligning all the edges properly and then pinning them in place. Since I have cut out the metal stoppers, I will have no difficulty in sewing it as I have no uh, fear that I will be hitting the metal stoppers with my needle. You have to run a stitch along the sides of the zipper teeth. Make sure you don't hit the zipper teeth. Now I have finished uh, sewing this line as well. Now if I open, as you can see I have attached my zipper very easily. Both my uh, edges are finished on both the sides. I have extended the zip length as well. Now what I will be doing is, I will be giving a top stitch, while giving a top stitch I will be just gently pulling my or stretching my fabrics so that when I run my zipper open and close, the lining fabric will not be getting caught. I am now placing my main fabrics together and aligning all the edges together and pinning it. Since I have stitched a bow, I am making sure the pleats of my bow are also arranged well before pinning it. And then I am lining my main fabrics together on all sides and pinning it well. Similarly, I am lining my uh, lining fabrics together and pinning them in place as well. Once I have done that, I will be running a stitch all along on all sides leaving a slight gap on my lining fabric. Before doing this step make sure your zip is open. This is very important. If you do not open your zip you will not be able to reverse your pouch forever. So make sure your zip is open before doing this step. I am pinning all the layers in place and then I am stitching my layers together leaving a slight gap on the lining fabric as you can see a gap enough to put my fingers in and reverse the whole pouch I made a stitch on all sides and I have left a small gap on my lining fabric now I am carefully removing all the pins and I am snipping off the corners to just to reduce some bulk in case if you have a lot of excess then uh, make sure you just trim it off either with a regular scissors I am using a zigzag scissors here like I said if you do not have an overcasting foot then it's a good idea to invest on a zigzag scissors like this as it will help in preventing your fabric from fraying and will increase the life of your stitched products 
Now I am carefully reversing the whole pouch through the gap that I have left. That is why I have said you need to have your zipper open. If you leave your zip closed then you will not be able to do the step. Now I am taking a chopstick and I am carefully uh, making all the corners pointed. Take your time as this will give the pouch a good shape. I'm almost done with my pouch. All I'm doing is carefully taking time and pulling out all the corners properly and giving a good shape to my pouch. Now what I will be doing is uh, bringing out my lining and then I will be giving a stitch along the open edge. This is a very easy way of finishing your pouch as you will have no raw edges seated on any side. Even the lining fabric will be properly concealed. I am making the corners pointed on the lining fabric as well and I am giving a stitch along the edge just to close that gap that we have left. Here is my finished pouch. This is a very basic version that I have shown you. As you can see I have extended my zip and I have also attached a bow on one side. You can also do this by adding some uh, batting to give body to your pouch. I hope you liked my version of stitching a zipper pouch and you will definitely give it a try. Thank you so much for stopping by. Please consider subscribing to my channel and tap on the bell icon for more such craft and card making videos. If you wish to see my work, do follow me on my social media where I share the photos of my work. The links are given in the description box below. Thank you.